In this quick tip, I'll show you how to painlessly achieve chamfers on steep 3D edges, like the one running around the outside edge of this part. This steep chamfer results in a big gouge if I try to use a trace operation and a standard chamfer mill. The trick is to use a scallop operation and a ball end mill to go along the modeled chamfer surface. First, I'll choose the edges of the chamfer as the machining boundary and enable contact point boundary to keep the tool in contact with my selection. I'll also set the boundary overlap to zero inches to keep the tool within the selected machining boundary. Finally, I'll reduce the step over so there's more than one pass along my chamfered surface. The result looks like a good start, but there's a lot of toolpath noise that I don't want and some passes that waterfall over the edge of the part. For a quick tip within a quick tip, I'll show you how to remove all that squiggle to get a cleaner toolpath. First, I want to look at the tolerance value in the passes tab. Then, in the machining boundary offset, I'll enter a negative offset of three times the tolerance value. In this example, that's negative three tenths. Now when I generate the scallop, I get a nice clean toolpath that gives me a great looking 3D chamfer.